tried to film this three times. Ugh, third, fourth time I've been interrupted, fun. Not destroying phones when I go inside them. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. No! Now that we've gone back to the beginning, I think we should start with the first phone, the HTC Phone 8X. Now this is a phone that was released in 2012, and its specs are kind of mediocre. But I think we should charge both phones, because there is also an HTC One M8. So if we turn on the chargers, um, let's see what happens. So this one lights up immediately. This one seems to be lighting up too. And it lights up to a home screen, okay. This is running Windows Phone. This is running um, Android, Android 6. But I think we should look at the specs of each of them. So let's start with, since we're starting with the Phone 8X, we can look at the specs of that. This phone has, was released in November 9th of 2012. Has a 4.3 inch 1280 by 720 display, 8 megapixel single camera front, and 2 megapixel front camera. Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus with 1 gig of RAM, 60 gigs of storage, an 1800 milliamp power battery, and Windows Phone 8.1 OS. So this was, you know, mediocre. It's not the best phone. I mean, what did you expect? We're not going to be getting like an S20 Ultra. This is Windows Phone OS, which is actually not terrible. But, oh, what's this? Windows Phone, check out our time saving. I don't care. Big deal. Basically, this is the stuff on here. Um, no SIM, because I can't do this. So, I actually do want to set it up with my Wi Fi. We can do that. It might look a little different. Uh, I just... um, we have all the apps here. This is messaging threads, so I'm just going to do that shopping it up with. We have Internet Explorer. Um, recommend it, sure. I mean, send every single ounce of data my Microsoft. Um, let's look at my mail. You can see I have typed in my YouTube channel correctly. www.youtube.com slash at here 921 which should be one of the channels I subscribe to. Um, I'm going to do something. I've had a cool idea where I can share who I'm subscribed to on YouTube. I thought that'd be a really sick idea. But if you do want to see that, leave a comment down below because I think that'd be a fun. Two thousand years later. Oh my God! Do you see that? What like garbage is that? Look, that's my phone on the area. This is the camera. Ugh. And here's a recording from it. The noise is weird. It's a very like techy noise, which I guess some people won't like, but it's very like purposeful. The little one. Is that show? There we go. That sounds decent actually. I want to get on a YouTube though, so I'm gonna try. There's no way to get on YouTube. I want to look at the app. It's on here. 411 and more. Weather, sports, it's up. I don't care about Bonus hacks, car Why is there a separate app for the flashlight? That's so stupid. I mean, that's not a bad flashlight, though. Like, that, that's actually working decent. I put that under here. I'm going to just add basically nothing. Okay, well, that sucks. I feel like that was on low. That's a decent amount. It's like glaring off my screen. I can't see exactly what you guys see, but this is the cable because it's still plugged in, obviously. But uh, why didn't I have a separate flashlight out? Um, calculator. Let's do some very hard math that I can't do. Did I actually just do two times two equals twenty-four? I think good. Nope. It's it, it actually knows how to do math. That's actually funny. Internet Explorer, which is gonna suck. 
Goes for the photo enhancer. It has a built-in photo enhancer. What? Let's use this one. What happens if we try and enhance this photo? What does it do? It just makes it just increases the contrast. That's okay. This is done. That that's done. Anyway, basically, this is the phone and Alex. It kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend it in the slightest. The only things it kind of does have that might be useful. So I'm pretty sure this is a micro SD slot, or it could be a SIM slot. And then, what even is this? Oh, it has like a quick camera shutter button. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. That's actually kind of cool. But otherwise, yeah, it kind of sucks. Do not buy this phone. Let's try a different one. This, I've actually seen all over the place. Um, it's really scratched up. There's a little dent here. Looks like it's been used, but I've heard a lot about this from people like Mr. Is the Boss. And apparently, there we go, HTC Android. Who does Android? This isn't Windows Phone OS like this. But I think while it's booting, we should go through the specs. And this was released in March of, of 2014. Has a 1920 by 18, 8 by 1080 pixel display, which is decent. Four megapixel back cameras, which is not bad. And it's actually less megapixel countage than the, um, the phone 8x, which is odd, because it's two years younger. Five megapixel so front. Why is it a better front camera? That's weird. I would test front cameras, but I don't want to show my face. Um, we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 with two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage with a micro SD card slot, uh, 2600 million powers, and Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Also, another thing is this is a keynote because it, there's a ton of ads on the place that I got all this information, so I just screenshot it and then threw it in the keynote. But now we're in here. So, English? That's so much better display. Like, compare... Can't... I'm gonna drop these. Compare the difference. Look at that. That is so much... Okay, it doesn't look that much better on camera. But that is so much better of a display. Start with English? Yep. Start. Looks a lot like this phone. Like, the UI looks a lot like it. And it's actually about the same size. It's a little bit bigger. Which is kind of nice. Like, this is... This is a decent spot size of maybe an iPhone success. Um, I will check that later, but this just kind of grime over the front camera. Oh, there we go. Now it's connected. Let's go. Okay, it's connected. I have to blur out all the Wi-Fi networks. It's going to be a pain to blur out in this video. But now connected to Wi-Fi. Let's go. Connecting. Cool, we're connected, I know. Let me... Okay. There we go. Google services. I don't want to let see my location. I don't want to send in things. Okay, set base. It got it right, haha! -ha. Yep, it's 1033. That's sick, okay, it knows that. Let's skip for now. Actually, I'm gonna do that just because why not? Ooh, pattern. I've seen this on some Android ones. I really wish Apple would implement this because it seems really cool, but I guess we're just gonna go with the good old. Oh god. There we go. Don't turn notifications at all. I don't know why I'm doing all those precautions on this phone if you never gonna use them. Yep, I'm actually gonna call it the line eight, but I don't I hate that underscore that's bothering me. Changing it to an S, that's stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Um share my precise location, no, share my personal usage data, no. Not that HTC really exists that much anymore. Uh I'll read that. Except, except. Okay, the request screen process made you come. And we're on the home screen. This is Android. Okay. This really doesn't look too bad. Like, th I could actually use this. This is not bad. Cool. I'll personalize it. Change home screen wallpaper. Um. You know what? This is gonna be stupid. There we go. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's also so nice, though. Android edit theme, edit add apps or widget, and I'm going to use. I don't think we're going to do that right now. First thing I want to do is I actually want to try and install YouTube and see how that runs. Let's go. Server error. Server error. Okay. Um, we might not be able to download anything. Except. 
it. Move it. You can try again. There we go. Now let's try searching the future. It's just pulling up games. Let's try movies and TV. Maybe it'll bring up YouTube. No, it just brings up movie rentals. Okay, so we can do the comparison again. Um, does this ever turn on? I just turn this on. This is a Verizon um, S4. So this is destroyed. This is. I don't even know what happened to the back of this one. It looks destroyed. I've been in it many times, so that's why paint's chipped. I'm not good at not destroying phones when I go inside them. Probably dead though, also. I just want the YouTube to load. I want to test some things with the display. Because it actually doesn't look half bad. Like, it, this one's worse. This one's worse. This one's worse. Never powered this on because I destroyed it too quickly. And this one is obviously terrible. It's an iPod. It's a tiny iPod screen. I don't know when the S4 was made, so I guess we could probably want to check that first. But if you can see, the this is running TouchWiz, which was basically Samsung's version of Android to try and make more people want to use it. But yeah, money, money, money. This is done so we can open up YouTube. And let's... Wow! That's actually decent! This is decent. Um, I guess we can watch a video from my channel, so... Um, yeah, this is actually decent loading time. Like, I, I would use this. This is not a bad screen size. Um, I guess we can watch that... We've got the sound, but where's the screen? Well, that's my fault. Do you remember this video from the second video ever on this channel? It's boring as crap, but I did something really dumb with it. I bought this MacBook, which was like a dumb thing, but I destroyed it. I played around the computer like every. That's not bad. All right, let's do two more tests of the audio because I think this will be funny. First test, pretty much everyone knows. No, Crab Brave. You gotta do the good old Crab Brave. Okay, it really does sound good though. Like these speakers are good, and this screen, while not being the best, it's actually quite good. Does not have the new YouTube UI though, so you can't like zoom in or anything. All right, let's go to the good part. This is actually quite good. I'll put up a sound test on screen of my current MacBook because that sounds so good. But th just know this does sound really good. And now let's do one final thing just for jokes. <laughs> that actually does sound really good though. This one actually does sound quite decent. All right, let's play some Subway Surfers. It cuts it off and calls it Subway Surf, which I find a little odd. Having played Subway Surfers as a kid, like, I mean, it's just Subway Surfers, not Subway Surf. This is loading screen taking so long. And we're on the burnt. That's creepy. Am I the only one who thinks that kind of looks like an Avatar character? Like, this guy? I haven't watched Avatar, but it kind of does. This has considerable lag. Look at the beginning had the unbearable lag. This lag isn't terrible. Finally. Okay, that's actually not a bad for this one. No, really, it's a high score. No, but like... But like, honestly, it's not bad. What this stuff does this actually have on it? This is Amazon. But Amazon paid them. Um, I actually want to know what kid mode is. What is kid mode? Been deleted. Okay, fun. I want to try one last thing on here. So what I was trying to do earlier on the S4 was show you that I installed a iOS launcher. So 
I'm gonna try getting an iOS 16 launcher on here. There's no way this is, none of these are launchers. What? Okay, so I just realized I forgot to shoot a bunch of things that I wanna shoot. So first I wanna test the camera just like we did with the uh, Phone 8X. So let's actually see what that can produce. So go into camera. Oh, super secure pen. Uh, what? It sounds like an iPhone 14 Pro before they fix the bug. Listen, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it makes a clear rattling noise. Don't know if we flip it around to be able to see anything. No. That's weird though. I do not know what's going on. Is it the same thing if I try switching cameras? How do I switch? Go ahead. Um quite obvious. Well, this is a chaotic end to a video that was literally like an hour and 15 minutes when I loaded it up uh, in total shooting time. Hopefully I'll get this down to like maybe 20 minutes. So let's see if that worked out correctly. And basically, yeah, this phone, honestly, I'm not gonna re recommend it because it's very old, but it's really not that bad. It has a massive screen. It still runs YouTube, still runs a lot of important things. I mean, honestly, if you have like, a grandparent who just wants a new phone, wants pretty probably decent battery life, figure out how to replace the battery in here and give it to the grandparent, because this is this would actually be a really decent phone for someone. But if you did enjoy, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.